What's up guys, Redoubles back again, and today I want to talk about the AI voice acting stuff that's becoming a really big deal. They just got added to Turtle WoW, so it's coming to the private server scene in full force, especially the Vanilla Plus scene. I want to look at it on TWoW today, I want to give some comments on it, and talk about the future of private servers with that in mind. Hope you guys enjoy, and let's jump right in. So I actually saw this this morning for Turtle Wow, and I, you know, I still keep up with all of them even if I don't play them. I'm talking about the private servers right now, and they said, I'm glad to announce the first beta release of the Wow voiceover add-on. This is something I heard about for Classic Wow, and I thought it was pretty neat, but if I'm honest, you know, the more we progress into the world of Warcraft, the more you realize that people can only do the exact same thing so many times. When I originally saw that they had this brand new voiceover AI type thing going on for Wow Classic, I thought, well, that's really sick. But by the time it's fully fleshed out, people probably won't care that much anymore about it. However, my opinion does slightly change in a universe in which it's usable on private servers that are Vanilla Plus, because I personally believe that the Vanilla Plus WoW servers have a lot more potential in the future than anything Blizzard's currently doing for their classic realm. So when I saw that they're trying to make this work for Turtle WoW, I thought, well, actually, they're very smart for that. I gotta give Turtle WoW credit for that, because quite frankly, this actually seems like it would be perfect for the the way Turtle WoW is set up. Slow, all about the journey, the late game is basically irrelevant, but you don't care because it's going to take you two months to get to 60 anyway if you level slow or regular. And so if it happens to be the case that every single NPC, or at least a good majority right now, are actually talking to you with real voice acting, like from an Elder Scrolls game or something, that would be pretty sick in a really big growing game like Turtle Wow. Now, if you don't know what this is, essentially, once again, let me make it clear. You can see a little orc warlock about to talk to that starty uh, orc guy right here, and here's what happens. Thrallhall, finally, Thrall. you are of age adventurer, of age to battle in the name of the Horde, <laughs> to conquer for the glory of the war chief. So that sounds pretty cool, right? Like right off the bat, that's pretty amazing. That that literally sounds exactly like what you would expect that orc to sound like. I don't exactly understand how they do this. I know how AI voice stuff works. I've used it a little bit. I guess I still don't fully understand how people might see me. Like, what is my purpose? What is my purpose? You create private server videos for World of Warcraft. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Anyway, right, like you take enough of the regular voice acting, you put it into a machine, essentially, breaking it down really simple, and then the machine basically copies it, and then you can say whatever you want. So the idea, of course, is that you can quite literally have all of these amazing bits of voice acting within your game without ever paying anybody to do it, and that's the big thing for a private server, right? So I thought, okay, well, I downloaded the add-on that they have set up specifically for Turtle Wow. I want to make a brand new guy. I want to call it... Uh, AI voice mic or something like that. Let's get in there and I just want to look at it a little bit and see if it really adds anything to the game. Okay, so super quickly before I actually end up doing this, if you want to get this yourself on TWoW and I guess we'll see if it ends up happening on future V plus uh, additions to the private server genre, all you have to do is go to their Discord, click on the link, they give you instructions right here you see, download the add-on and then download the vanilla sound uh, zip file, extract it all to your Turtle WoW add-ons folder, bada bing bada boom. Once you do that, you're in game like me you click on Kaltong. Finally, you are of age adventurer, of age to battle in the name of the Horde, to conquer for the glory of the War Chief. Yes, you will do nicely. No doubt you wish to find a great dragon or demon and strangle it with your bare hands. But perhaps it would be wise to start on something less dangerous. Report to Garnek. He should be able to assign a task better suited to a young adventurer. You will find Gornek in the den to the west. Wow. Now, I will admit, that was really good. Now, I have not delved into this at all. I know some people tried to really push it on YouTube and on other platforms like Reddit and stuff like that when it first came to light. But because we're in the Vanilla Plus uh, private server genre now, I actually care. Uh, this is very interesting. What I think I want to do, though, is see if this is working with all sorts of NPCs. Let me log on my max level character, right? And uh, my goblin, right, on Vanilla WoW. Let me go to some guys and maybe Orgrimmar, like Thrall, and let's see how this exactly works. Like, how much support is there really maybe even see if it's working for non-orc npcs because i think all i've ever seen is orc npc voice acting guys something might be a little off okay so I, i'm not look I, I i hate to have to even delve into it but for the joke's sake i think it's fair okay i roll up to the female orc right and i think okay this should be interesting i click on her to talk to her what are you looking for oh my god okay is it really just like okay should they just rename this add-on orc voice add-on because like i don't see any other race what are you looking for 
Okay. Let me go talk to Thrall real quick. I am very curious. Like, I'm not saying that's bad. Like, the orc voice acting is really, really good for this, right? The AI stuff. But I just clicked on every other race in the Wintervale area. None of it worked. Now, they do say this is in beta right now. And they're going to be working on all the other uh, races I can only imagine by lieu of that. So, that's something to keep in mind. But I'm mostly curious right now, like I said, does Thrall have proper voice acting? Like that Chris Metzen type of stuff. All members of the Horde are equal in my eyes, adventurer. What the f- What? We have all suffered many burdens, and if it were not for wisdom and honor, then we would be no better than the Scourge or my people, while our blood was tainted by the demon Manoroth. I wish you could see it my face. It is your duty to aid the Horde, and I'm cringing. our way of life. But it is also your duty to know when quarter and compassion should be given to friend and foe alike. Understand this well. This is the new horde, not some demon-spawned army who lack free will. So what I don't like about this, and I'm, just, I'm not even hating, dude. Like, this is still cool, but come on. Y'all know that was not right. That's not Thrall's voice, dude. I could voice act better for Thrall there, and I, I'm not even close to his voice, man. And, like, the freaking... Okay, all members of the horde are equal in my eyes, boom boy. That was cringe, too. But at least I had some power to the voice. It sounded a little bit more like an orc, right? Like, whatever the hell that was was just not an orc. I mean, I could maybe see it, like, but it's, like, not really an orc thing to me. Uh, what about you, uh, a, a trig Yes, young one. You need not convince me of such things. The war chief and I have much history. Your dedication, however, is noted. As I was saying, Rend had found a new home for his- and Oh my god, this is just- Okay, stop talking to me! Please, others. for the love of all that is good and holy, others. shut up! It was in those battles go away, go away- Oh, can't make him go away? Rock. Dear lord, okay. May the spirits be with you. The Feast of Winter Vale, you say? Alas, in times past, it held a more substantial meaning to us, Torrent. What? Nowadays, it seems as though others have turned the legend of this season of renewal into something that helps to sell candies and presents. Torrin it's voice no acting! that Furmund is bitter about that sort of change. He and other Torrin like him cling to our past like a banner of war. While I think a little celebration is always good. Okay, that's good. That's actually good. Okay, so in my honest opinion, like the Tarn one was actually good. A few of the orc ones were just really, really off. If it was just right down to like Thrall, like that's not Thrall's voice. And for people that are wondering, okay, what's Thrall's voice, big shot? Well, let's just click my this from uh, Warcraft 3. This is what Thrall's supposed to sound like, okay? Like there is no in between to me. Like this is it. My people are strong. I will lead them to their destiny. You hear the power? The spirits will guide me. Yeah. I may have been raised by humans, but I'm no fool. See, this is very interesting to me, right? Because the voice acting is there for Thrall. That's why I thought it was going to be obvious that Thrall would sound a certain way. But if I run back over to him real quick, you know? Like, it's, it doesn't sound, it sounds like, I don't even want to describe what that person looks like in real life, but it just doesn't sound like a big old uh, orc, right? Especially not a majestic one like the original OG Thrall. So I'd like to see that, you know, done right. I know it's one NPC potentially, but look. All members of the oh. are equal in my eyes, adventure. What even is that? Dude, it sounds like, oh. It literally, to me, sounds like, I can't describe it without hurting somebody's feelings, but we all know what we're thinking. Like, I really can't describe it without hurting somebody's feelings. Like, you just know what that sounds like. It sounds like some dude that comes to play D&D with you, right? And they can't do voice acting at all, but they're really in it. Like, that is what it sounds like to me. Like, they really want to make it sound like like they're in it, but they suck at it, but you let them do it anyway because they're your friend. Like, that's what it sounds like. But again, some of these orc voices are good, like the typical what guard. Look, what are you looking for? Jesus Christ, yeah, okay. Do any other races have it besides Tarn and Orc? Let's check. Well, I can go to Yeter right here. He's a high elf. I think we can go to the high elf area and see if the high elves have any voice acting at all. That would be very interesting to look at, I feel like. Okay, so here's a high elf right here. What does she sound like, if anything at all? Nothing. Yeah, that's kind of what I suspected. Yeah, like, that would be a perfect time right here to talk to me, but she doesn't. The only other thing I can think of is that maybe they have some dwarf voice acting, so we can go to the dwarven district a little bit more. Maybe some Iron Forge y type stuff. See, let me know in the comment section if you agree with me so far, but I'm a firm believer that while these new things with AI voice acting are revolutionary potentially and quite cool when they're done right, when they're done wrong, they actually take more away from the game than they could ever add to the game. And uh, just clicking on an NPC like we did with Thrall and having him sound like whatever the hell that was, to me, that's enough to never use the add on. However, if they were to fix that stuff, Stuff, make it more original uh, and polish it all up. I actually think this could be the future of any version of WoW that we see in the private server scene because why wouldn't you just have this by default? If it's working properly, it's just better, right? 
Okay, here's a dwarf, right? No, okay. Here's a human. You're not bad, but let me show you oh. a few tricks you might find handy. Okay, that's good. That is actually really good voice acting uh, for the AI right there for the human. Okay, the dwarf didn't talk to me. <gasps> fool, you lad, with the subway those gnomes built. It's easier than you might think to transport wow. from Iron Forge. If they try to tack on import fees, just tell them you're gonna buy your gear from me. Now that is good. I did not think they were gonna have a single female voice. I know that sounds bad, but typically, you know, it's a male-dominated sphere, and it was gonna be a disappointing concept, but I thought it was just gonna be the male voices. To see a female dwarf voice and it was really good, that is actually a really good sign for the future. Uh, what about Genova? No, okay, I can't even talk to you. What about, uh, okay, Einris. Adventurer trainer. <laughs> okay. Ah, friend, I only help hunters in their pits. Wow, this is really good now. Yeah, I can help you with training. You should look for an adventurer trainer. Ah, uh, you know, that sounded a little, it's not deep and grunty enough for me for a dwarf, but it was good. It was fine. League of Arathor Emissary. Thank you for the offer, adventurer. Unfortunately, you are not yet experienced enough to weather the hazards of Arathi Basin. Oh, you know what? I actually like that too. This is actually really, really cool. Okay, so, okay, like if we take away some of the cringy orc ones, right? And we say, were any of the other ones bad? Actually, so far, none of the other races sounded even close to bad. They weren't even close to off. Uh, that's really interesting. Okay, let's go to Ironforge. No, actually, I think there's a gnome over here. I just want to find a gnome and see if there's any gnome voice acting. That would be the kicker for me. That would be the deal breaker for me. I will definitely use this if they can ever port it to like Ascension, if they could put it on uh, Dusthaven, and if I ever play turtle wow again um if the gnomes have a voice so i can't click on shoney the silent let's click on these guys sprite these engineering guys ah what a <gasps> beautiful day to blow something up wow and it's good okay you let's see 14 plus 7 carry the two. Oh yes oh my god and you insert tab a into slot b then of course it's going to go boom here let me show you what i have and then you can ask lilium about how to put it together so it doesn't blow up Okay, well, that's it right there for me. Like, I actually really like this now. But yeah, okay, Thrall was cringe, Orcs were cringe, but all of the Alliance ones are dead on, perfectly thematic and immersive. Wow, okay. I don't know, guys, like, is this actually the future of World of Warcraft in general? Like, what the hell is the point of paying anybody at all? And I really feel for voice actors, although at the same time, I'm not one, so it's hard to really relate, but, you know, you would get paid as a voice actor to make up a voice for all these NPCs, right? Think about Elder Scrolls Online and the amount of people they must have paid to voice act for that game, and now you can get maybe, you know, way less people you could say and then you could just you know ai voice generate all of this stuff after a few sentences maybe um and maybe for these older games you never have to pay anybody new i'm just thinking of new games because of course that's what they're doing and wow they're taking all of these old voices they're taking all of it and they're just ai voice generating all of it so that when you talk to a random guy for the offer adventurer unfortunately you are not yet experienced enough to weather the hazards of arathi basin you can actually have proper voice acting and feel immersed. And you know what? One of the things that makes WoW feel dated sometimes is the lack of voice acting. So that's just awesome. So all right, guys, what do you think? Voice acting in Vanilla Plus, should this be baseline is really the question for this channel on things like Azeroth at War. Should it come to things like Dust Cave in the future? Even Ascension WoW, all of them, because this is the scene, right? Where you could just put it in the regular game in a way that Blizzard will never do. And I think that could be really, really convenient for players and immersive and uh, would actually add, I think, in many ways to giving people who create these add-ons a reason to truly better themselves and keep improving because they have a whole platform of people who are ready and waiting for it. Let me know. I think it's pretty cool. Few things need to be changed, but it is in beta, I believe, right? So, hey, I would totally get it for TWoW. I'd get it for all the servers if I could. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. Major thing. Thanks to all the members on my channel. I love and appreciate you guys. Thank you for existing. But like I said, let me know what you think in the comment section. I'll see all y'all in the next one. Make doubles out.